Hi, my name is Michael Lopez Alegria. I was a NASA astronaut for 20 years and I flew three times on the space shuttle for about two weeks each. And then once I flew to and back from uh, International Space Station on board a Soyuz rocket. And during that mission, I spent seven months uh, commanding Expedition 14. When I left NASA in 2012, I really never thought I'd be going back to space. It turns out I am. I'm very pleased to be commanding the first flight of a completely private crew to the International Space Station. So regarding exercise and flight, for the short duration missions, it's not really a big deal, but for a long duration mission, it's really important. So from a cardiovascular standpoint, we have a treadmill and we have a, basically a cycle ergometer. Now the treadmill, you might think, well, there's no gravity, so how can you stay on it? And that's a great question. We have a harness that we put on with a belt with bungee cords, and you can adjust the bungee cord to approximate your weight. And then you run on the treadmill like you would do here on Earth. The cyclergometer is a little bit different. You would uh, use regular bike shoes with cleats and clip into the pedals. But probably the more important part of it is resistive exercise. When we're walking around on Earth, you know, we're carrying the weight of our head and our upper body. All that is loading up our spine, our hips, etc. And you take away gravity, your body reacts to it and says, I don't need all this bone mass. I don't need all this strength in my bones, in my skeletal system. So I'm going to start sloughing off that density. You could be a jellyfish and do fine in space. But when you come back to Earth, that's a really big problem. It's basically like osteoporosis on a very accelerated scale. So I've chosen a few of the exercises that I've been doing on Earth. The first one is very simple. It's called the band pull apart. And all it entails is grabbing a band, you know, sort of close to either end of it in front of you, kind of in a bench press position with your hands, and then extending your arms laterally so that until the band is fully extended or actually until your arms are fully extended. Another exercise is a seated row. You wrap the band around your feet with your legs straight and your back at about a 45 degree angle to your legs. And then just pull back hard so that you're just simulating a rowing motion. So you're pulling straight back with your elbows in, hold for a second and then back. So push-ups are a little bit more interesting. Obviously, you've probably seen footage of people doing push-ups in space. You know, they can do it with one hand. But I wanted to try to get some real workout out of it. So you use this band around your arms. Um, so you put your hands through the loops and then kind of wrap it around your back. Now, when I'm doing it on Earth, obviously, I'm getting a fair amount of component of gravity that influences how hard it is. But you can do it with only the band and no resistance uh, from the gravity in space, and you'll still get a pretty decent workout. Obviously, when I left NASA in 2012, I really never thought I'd be going back to space. It turns out I am. Um, I'm very pleased to be commanding the first flight of a completely private crew to the International Space Station. That'll happen at the beginning of 2022. I'll be doing that on behalf of Axiom Space. They're the integrator of all the pieces that have to go and those pieces include working with NASA of course to get access to the ISS and with SpaceX who is going to be the launch provider for that mission. So the bird dog is one that I'm really looking forward to trying. It's really not that fun on earth. It's, it's a little tough. You sort of get in an all fours position with the band around one foot and the opposite arm. And then at the same time, you kick out with that foot and reach out with that arm in opposite directions, hold it for a second, and then come back down. Now, I don't think there's any gravity component, but there's some balance that goes on. So when you have one arm and one leg up in the air, obviously some small muscles in your other leg and other arm are working hard to keep you balanced. I think we're all familiar with a simple shoulder press. The weight in this case, whether it's dumbbells or a barbell, will be replaced again by an elastic band. We just wrap the elastic band around our feet and then press straight up over our heads against the resistance of the band. Even though there's a very small gravity component because my arms do weigh something on Earth, the vast majority of the resistance comes from the elastic. And so I'm thinking this will be quite similar in space as it is on the ground. So those are some of the exercises I think I'd like to try in space. And again, I'm not really worried about losing muscle mass or bone density in such a short duration mission, but a lot of us feel better when we work out. Really looking forward to what that feels like and comparing it to how it's been on the ground.